Now to that top secret meeting between Oscar winner Sean Penn and the world's most notorious drug lord, <coughs> Penn interviewing El Chapo. While he was in hiding, Mexican officials say their communication helped recapture him. And ABC's Matt Gutman has the latest. It was a Hollywood handshake staged to prove that Sean Penn met narco king El Chapo Guzman. The fugitive El Chapo flying Penn and actress Kate Del Castillo to a mountain hideout, hoping the Mexican starlet would make a biopic about his life. The drug lord later awarding their journey with this. El, El Chapo's first ever interview dedicating it to... Para la señorita Kate Del Castillo. In a Rolling Stone article published Saturday, Penn writes the secret seven-hour sit-down in October started with a shot of tequila and a compadre hug from the man in the silk shirt. Noting Guzman looked remarkably well-groomed for a man who'd been on the run since his daring prison escape last July. El Chapo agreeing in that meeting to tell his story to Penn via video and messages in the following months. Penn writing that the cartel leader acknowledged moving more heroin, methamphetamine, cocaine and marijuana than anybody else in the world. But the billionaire drug lord, unrepentant. My dressing room is too small. Del Castillo, known for roles in Jane the Virgin and Weeds, setting it all up through secret messages. El Chapo agreeing to fly Penn on a radar jamming plane, but barring any phones brought in. Still, the Mexican government may have intercepted the messages, saying after El Chapo's capture Friday, his communications with actors and producers helped authorities ultimately track him to this safe house in his home state of Sinaloa. As the Mexican Marines closed in, he nearly got away again, darting into the drainage system. We found the spot he popped out of and something oh, else. Man. It looks like an M4 rifle with a grenade launcher. This is what El Chapo is known for. Skirting the law by going through the tunnels, ditches, drainage sewers, anything he can to get away. But he was caught and posed in this hotel room. His soiled undershirt a stark contrast to the fine silk and pressed denim he wore to meet Penn. Mexico has already begun the process of extraditing El Chapo to the U.S., but his attorney telling us overnight he's trying to gum up the works, already filing six motions to block the extradition, and now saying that his client's human rights are being violated because he's being kept in solitary. Robin. All right, Matt, thank you. Dan Abrams was here with more on this. So is Sean Penn in any legal trouble whatsoever? Um, based on what we know right now, probably not. Uh, to convict him of something like harboring or concealing a fugitive, you'd need evidence that he actually helped him, aided him, gave him money, sheltered him, not just to say he met with him. Now, they may want to call him as a witness. They may want to ask him questions. And if El Chapo had not been captured yet, there would have been a lot more pressure on Sean Penn and Rolling Stone to answer questions. Ben, uh, Sean Penn admitted that he went to great lengths to conceal the interview, uh, dumping his cell phone. People are just baffled going, there. he did nothing, absolutely nothing wrong? Well, see, look, I think he did something wrong here. In particular, I think Rolling Stone did something wrong here journalistically, which is to say that El Chapo could vet the story before they published it. Mm. I think that's an outrage. Mm -hmm. But as a legal matter, you cannot convict someone for just hiding your effort to meet with someone. Journalists have interviewed Osama bin Laden before, true, true. and there have been other examples like that. Journalistically, I think a problem. Legally, as based on what we know, probably not. All right. Thank you, Dan.